Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So as part of today's tutorial, we are going to see how we can use delete in Liquibase. We can delete a single record from a table. We can delete all the records from the table as well, right? So that we are going to see using Liquibase in Spring Boot. This is the third video in the playlist. Hope you guys have already watched the two other videos. If not, I would strongly suggest you guys to watch it. And if you found it useful, please do subscribe to my channel. So what we are going to do today is basically we are going to, you know, uh, let me show the table this okay so let's delete a single record with id 0 then we are going to delete a single record with the help of wave params then we are going to delete all the data okay so let's get started here so if i have to explain here this change set is doing creating the table another change set is inserting some data Another change set is inserting it from the CSV table. All these were already been explained in other videos. Okay, so let's create a change set directly here with ID 3 I have used it. Right? So let me keep ID 4 and author as Karthik. Then let's use the delete change set directly. Okay, so it is asking for table name, right? Without table name, it don't know which one to delete. So table name is a mandatory one. Then there were two other options which are optional catalog and schema name. Schema name is in which schema this is presented. In my case, I'm using the test schema. So I have mentioned that. And catalog name is basically liquid based will insert two tables which are db change log and change log log to keep track of all the changes sets. so where these tables were presented in which schema that is about the catalog so these are presented for me in this table okay now let's delete a single um, single record first okay so i have mentioned something like this and id and i have the value as well right so here these the here i am inserting right now i wanted to delete this entry because i don't want this record so that's where i i will come here so id zero something directly you can do here first name if we have more than one then based on and and or you can remove okay so here i am using and first name okay okay so this way i can remove this particular change set cool now i have another change set as well let's create another change set and let's use the wave params okay so for that purpose let me keep id as 5 in way so there is something called wave params as well now you could see in wave params we have it how can i use here we have dynamic here we have passing data right instead of this what you can do is simply you can pass it like this value and let me keep this as value and these values you can replace with the help of wave params in way there is something called params and you could see here value numeric all these things are there let me take value directly and what value i wanted to remove okay so let's go here one and dud let's remove that so one is here similarly let's take another param value is equal to dud Okay, so what we are doing here is the order you mentioned in Liquibase script will be followed here. This is the first value, so will be come here and replace the value. This is the second one will come and replace the value. These two change log sets I have now. Now I simply execute and I will ensure I have 
deleted two records first one is this with the help of where class in delete and the second one is this one uh, one and dot with the help of the where class but i am using the where param as well right so those two i am going to see now okay now you could see our application is up and it's it's still up not running yet here once those uh, change sets were executed then you could see a entry in this table db change log okay now i think now it is starting it is setting up db change log you could see here right okay 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 now you could see 4 and 5 came now you could see 0 record 1 record deleted right okay so here first record and here 0 record were deleted that's cool now let's delete all the data from the given table with the help of delete uh, change set here you could see here directly there is no way class needed for me if i do something like this what will happen it should ideally remove all the data from the table okay but what you need to ensure is for every change set you need to ensure that the id is unique in that given file okay so this should actually start executing this this particular change set and it should remove all the data from the customer info batch directly you can do delete from table name that is fine but in different different environments how do you ensure that execution is happen or not because you're doing it manually right sometimes you might forget right so to ensure that we need to use that you know uh you know db you know liquid base or there's one more called fly base now you could see sixth entry came in db change log table that means it should remove all the data from the table yep you could see right hope it's useful we have seen how we can delete single record we have seen how we can delete all the records in liquid base with spring boot if you found it useful please do subscribe and support to my channel thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off